Welcome to Why I Knit. My name is Rachel. I am your host. You can find all the show notes at whyiknit.com. You can find me on Ravelry as well as the Why I Knit group. Uh, I am Yarn Talk on there. And on Twitter and Instagram, I am Why I Knit. It is Sunday, May 4th, 2015, and this is episode number 20. So, hey everyone, I hope uh, you all had a <laughs> good week, uh, I had a good time in New York, and I will talk about that in a little bit. I'm going to do things a little bit out of order today, uh, partially because I think this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode than usual, uh, because I don't have a lot to talk about. Uh, Well, I do, but I don't. And I really wanted to talk about this uh, first. So, uh, first thing is, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I posted a video on Thursday thanking everyone for watching the live show uh, last Friday. But... I just want to thank everyone again for doing that. Um, I do want to apologize for the spazziness of it, but it was a live show, so yeah, uh, if that bothers anyone, I apologize. Um, I am planning to do it again in the future. Uh, Probably the next one won't be till July, though, uh, because I'm thinking of doing it every three months. So, if you don't count April, uh, it'll be May, June, July. July will be the next one. And then August, September, October, October, and then November, December, January. So, I think I'm going to do it in April, July, and October, um, along with January. Uh, so do it four four times a year. I think that will work out. And there are a couple other things going through my head about uh, the future of the podcast, but I will talk about those uh, as we uh, get down the road. Uh, but in July, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of doing it the last Friday uh, in July. Uh, however, that will be uh, subject to change. So, again, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and, uh, we'll try again in July. Uh, the other, uh, show news slash housekeeping that I wanted to talk about, uh, this week is that episodes will be returning to Saturdays starting this upcoming Saturday. So, I'm recording today, and then I'll, I'll record again on Saturday. And that's just really for continuity. Uh, this week I'm recording on Sunday only because uh, yesterday was my first full day uh, back home, and I wanted to relax, watch the derby, and stuff like that. Uh, but now that uh, I'm back home, uh, until my next trip, which I will talk about in a few weeks. Um, I really want to get back into my, uh, schedule. So, uh, episode 21 will be on, uh, May, hold on, let me check the date for a sec, May 9th. So, yes, May 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th uh, will be regular recording days, as usual. Now, of course, those are all on Saturdays. So, that is it for uh, housekeeping show news this week. Uh, I do have a little bit more show news down, but it's more of a segment uh, stuff than anything. Uh, so, yeah. 
All right, so on to what is on my needles, and this will explain uh, this week's title of uh, the episode. So I'm going to start out with, uh, you know what, I'm going to start out with, yeah, I'm going to start out with my socks. I'm just going to show them to you. Yes, they look a lot different than the last time you saw it. What had happened was, I was trying to do a heel, even though I said they were going to be tube socks. Uh, and honestly, I must have screwed up somehow. Uh, and when I went to go rip it back uh, to the spot that I had stopped uh, going uh, back and forth, uh, some of the yarn got messed up, and <laughs> I just said, you know what, I'll just start over, and then, uh, make it, uh, up to where I had it. it. It's not a big deal. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of the yarn wasn't salvageable, uh, so I had to scrap that yarn. Uh, so that's why the purple is where it is. Uh, of course, these are, and also I switched the needle. Uh, these are on the 1.5s now. Um, HE Yarns and NYC Subway. I'm planning to get this colorway again once it's available, which hopefully will be, uh, soon. Right now it's not, um, at the last time I checked. Uh, but we'll see what, um, happens. But, uh, the toe is looking good, and I'm just gonna do it up to 62 stitches, and then knit as far as I can with it. But I'm counting the rows, uh, so that, uh, uh, the other one, if I want it to match, um, I'll just pull it out to the purple and snip it. Um, match close enough, I should say. <coughs> um, that way I have enough yarn. And then use the yarn that I cut, uh, for afterthought heels. Uh, I had to frog Miriam socks. Because I realized I probably should do those, uh, toe up as well. That way I can, uh, have her try on the sock to see, uh, if it fits and stuff, and so I think I'm gonna do that, start that again, probably once the, uh, my socks are done, which hopefully will be done, I wanna say, by next week, and when I mean by next week, I mean next week, uh, calendarly, so, let me double check. I want them to get done by May 13th. I think that would be a good day. Get them done. So by the 13th or 14th, uh, they should be done. If I work on it, uh, like, a lot every single day. But we'll see about that. Uh, the table runner... For my mom. Still being worked on. Uh, I think this is a lot different than the last time I showed it to you on the live show. Um, I think when I showed it to you, it was a flat piece. And now it's a tube. Because I think it works better this way. Uh, and what I'm planning to do is put in a cable on both sides in a different color. I think it's going to be really cool. And so my plan is to have that done by the end of the month. Uh, probably will be earlier though. I haven't made a final decision on that as well. Uh, and I'm also still working on my mom's bag. Uh, I'm not going to show that to you this week, though, because 
I haven't made a ton of progress on that. Uh, so yeah, that is what is on my needles. And I need to stop screwing up. It's, it's getting a little bit too much. And I don't know. I like screwing up a lot, sadly. But hopefully that will change by... Time I finally actually have something done. So, yes, that is what is on my needles. Nothing is off my needles. Uh, no spin zone this week because I haven't even touched my spinning box. Um, what's on my hook, on well, what's on the hook, I should say, is probably going to be returning. I want to say maybe next week, maybe the week after. I don't know yet. Uh, uh, pro but uh, I am. I have planned out some crochet time this week, so we'll see if that works out well enough where I can actually crochet this week. Uh, so yeah. So that's it for what I'm working on and stuff like that. Uh, for, you know, for crochet, uh, knitting, and spinning. Uh, so Sheep of the Month. No one replied to the survey and I completely understand. I was looking for a poll, a uh, third party poll thing and it just didn't work out uh, so I completely understand so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna choose a sheep that will be featured on um, next week's episode I haven't decided but I am gonna choose between one of the three that I put up um, put up uh, in the survey so I hope everyone I think that's a very popular uh, popular, which I'm trying to think the right word, popular segment, I should say. And yes, you just did see a plastic bag. Uh, this is now, uh, stash enhancement, because I do have some stash enhancement. Uh, I don't have anything from New York City, but I do have yarn uh, that I ordered a couple weeks ago. The, uh, if you've been following uh, the past couple episodes, I said that I had yarn uh, on the way. Uh, and then uh, I saw the lollipop yarn, and I said that wasn't the yarn. Uh, th I actually got this yarn uh, Monday, uh, which I was, I'm sorry, I got it Saturday, uh, last Saturday, which I wasn't, which I was very surprised about because I was, uh, not expecting it until, uh, Monday. And I wasn't going to see it until Friday. But I'm so glad I was able to see it, uh, last Saturday before I left. So this is from Nomadic Yarns. And this is in uh, her trusty sock, which is uh, 462 yards, 100 grams, 7525 superwash uh, merino nylon blend, and it's in the coat. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the coffee. Uh, colorway poolside. So here it is. Really pretty. It's a little bit more muted than I thought it would be. Uh, but I wanted something a little bit more uh, summery. So it has purple, blue, red, lime green. Uh, but I honestly, I prefer muted colors anyway. So I'm very happy with this. And Ashley, the uh, owner of Nomad Yarns, uh, sent me a little note that I'm not going to 
chair. So I cannot wait to use this. I'm these are probably gonna be cuff down socks for me. And I like that the yardage is not <coughs> like four hundred, it's like four hundred and sixty two. That way if I screw up, because I know I'm gonna screw up. Um uh I can so yeah. Very excited to use this. Uh and I will probably start doing yard <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I will probably start doing yarn reviews uh over the next couple weeks or so. Alright, so next Sunday is Mother's Day. And I already uh, got my mom her gift. Uh, it was a book. So she's she's already gotten it. Um, but uh, last week I talked about stuff that you can get your mom if she's a knitter. If she's not a knitter. Um, well, I shouldn't say get, but make. Uh, for your mom if she's uh, not a knitter, crochet, or spinner, weaver, or whatever. This week, I'm going to talk about uh, things you could get her if she is a knitter, crocheter, spinner, weaver. Uh, so, obviously, the biggest one is <laughs> yarn. If she's a knitter, crocheter, or spinner, oh, I'm sorry, weaver. <clears throat> well, even if she's a uh, spinner, because... Uh, for lead uh, leader yarn, uh, fiber if she is a spinner, needles, uh, a new loom, a new spindle, uh, of course hooks. Uh, if you, of course, um, with a loom, or if you can afford it, uh, a new wheel. A uh, gift card for her <laughs> Etsy. That way she can choose uh, whatever she wants, or you can just uh, get uh, make her something yourself. I mean, it is a little bit late uh, to possibly get started, but maybe if like a dish cloth you can make her because they're very uh, easy and quick. So, yeah, uh, you have, like, a ton of options, uh, for Mother's Day. Uh, so, yeah, I really didn't want to go into depth to it, because it's really up to you, to, uh, what you want to get your mom. And, finally, <coughs> sorry, is life news, and, of course, I'm going to talk about New York City. So, my neighbor takes me to the train station, um, Monday afternoon, and so I get there early, I eat lunch, and I wait about, uh, about an hour for my train. Train gets there, uh, I'm, I'm able to get a seat by myself, which was very nice, um, and make the way up to New York. Uh, so I get to New York and then get in the cab to go to the hotel. And check in was easy. And then went in my room, uh, relaxed for a little bit, unpacked, uh, went to dinner, and then <laughs> called it a night. Uh, a lot of, I did. I didn't do a lot this trip because it was just really a uh, trip to get uh, my bearings of the city and um, like using the public transportation and really doing a lot of stuff. Uh, though other than I went to Grand Central a lot. Uh, I went to Union Square. Uh, if you're familiar with Union Square. Uh, the flagship, uh, Barnes and Noble, Noble is there. Um, I think there is another bookstore 
uh, called Strand. That's like two blocks away. But I wanted to go to. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble. Uh, see if they had some a few things. They didn't have what I was like really looking for, so I didn't get anything knitting or crochet related. Although they did have some magazines. Uh, but I did get my mom a cookbook. And then uh, I took the subway back because I t had taken a cab there. But it was a little bit more expensive than I wanted to uh, Hey, at the time. So taking the subway back with though was no problem. Um and then on Thursday, uh I took the subway to uh the Museum of Natural History. And if you've uh never been to the muse uh the museum, uh that is what uh a night of that's the museum that uh a night of a night at the museum is uh, about, well, the first one, I should say, um, with Ben Stiller, the late Robin Williams, Owen Wilson, they're all in it. Uh, that's the museum. Uh, so that, that was very cool. I've been there a lot, though, uh, the past uh, couple years, but it's still really cool because I really like the dinosaur uh, exhibits. Uh, so, and then uh, after the uh, museum, I head back to the hotel. And uh, this was Thursday. Uh, as I said, um, I didn't do a lot, which, but I explained that a while back. It was just like really getting my bearings a little bit straight. Uh, so, but the three things, <laughs> getting back on topic though, uh, the three things that I had taken out of uh, this trip was I spent more time on the subway. Uh, I did go the wrong way a few times, but realized it almost right away. Uh, there was once where I was walking. Uh, and it took me about, like, two minutes before I realized it, though. And then I proved to myself that I can handle traveling by myself if I have to again in the future. Um, uh, my plan for next time, though, is to go to a yarn store. I don't know what yarn store I'm going to go to yet, though. It will be down the road. But yeah, uh, I apologize for that babbling at the end. No. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this week's episode. I will be back on Saturday the 9th, not the following sun Saturday, uh, with more stuff to show you, hopefully. Um, and again, thank you to everyone who watched the live show, whether it be live or on archive, uh, and of course Twitter, Robbery, Instagram. I don't post to Instagram that often, so really the best the best place to contact me is Ravelry. Uh Twitter um, is second, and then Instagram being third. Um, so I'll see you all on Saturday. Bye.